do you know that there is just one single problem that will bust out and eat all those money do you understand and if you have invested that money then waiting for the return there is no problem that will come that will not sort itself out for example the Hey yo, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Chris Samilo and welcome back to another episode of Life in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Here in this channel, we discuss about everything that has to do with Dubai, United Arab Emirates with the jobs and employment. So if you are new in my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and also turn the notification button on so that each time I post my videos, you can be the first to get the updates. So if you are already part of my family, don't always forget to like my video before watching it's very very important to like this video before watching it my target in each video is just 50 likes so your one like counts a lot so kindly like this video and let's go and discuss why we are here okay ladies and gentlemen like i said before my name is chris amilo so today i want to freely discuss because uh, normally every time i'm making a content i jot down uh, the important part of those content so so that i can remember what i was talking about or what i'm talking about so but today i want to freely uh, make an uh, an interaction with you guys because uh, we have come a long way you understand so now, regarding the Nigeria community in United Arab Emirates, the Nigerians, I'm talking about the Nigerians, you know, why was this visa saga, this work permit saga affected most people a lot? Why? You know, we all know that, yes, we are working to save money, we are working to do all that things, but if you understand that situation are not permanent in UAE, especially in abroad, do you understand? Situation are not permanent. You know, you might think that, okay, today I have a good job, you are working good, you are living fine. You know, tomorrow you might find yourself begging for money. This is how UAE is. Nobody is, is made. Nobody is, is, can say that I am okay even company owners there's sometimes they go bankrupt they don't have a choice than to sell their company to another person do you understand so now this particular thing i believe that is is a lesson to everybody that is living in uae me personally that i'm talking to you right now at that particular time the beginning of that visa work permit issue I was affected you understand i was affected because at that particular time my contract finished with a company that i'm doing merchandising for in abu dhabi here what did i do i took the next available option you understand i was able to make those an available option or i was able to take those, those uh, available option because i was planning ahead of any circumstances that might come do you understand but most of you don't have those plans yes we believe that if we make if we are if we have salary of one five today you have to what you get you should send it home some of us we don't even have access to our account in nigeria here you just uh, get your money and you send it back home feeling that it is safe over there it is not safe because sometimes you might need the money very urgently in this country and you might not get it and believe me nobody is ready to give you a dime in this country as even borrow nobody is ready to give you because one they don't know your motive most people are afraid that if they give you money, you might just 
uh, vanish with the money or maybe you go home with the money something like that so it's very difficult to find a friend or somebody who can borrow you a huge amount of money even little amount of money they will tell you that they have sent it home that is always the 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 ring tune you understand now i want to tell you guys or i want to educate us because i'm among i want to educate us on how to take care of if this kind of circumstances should come in the nearest future how are you going to do deal with it have you secured a particular a particular stuff that if something happened to this particular one you you have another thing to to enjoy into you understand let me remind you that the visa that we are that we are talking about that is not going immigration did not stop issuing a visa the issuing the issue is from the labor the labor card cannot be renewed you understand so the rest of the visa which, which comes straight from immigration like freelance or partnership visa is going is going very fast you understand but the only thing is the work permits the work the the, the working uh, labor card that cannot be renewed and without that labor card you are not permitted that means you, you don't have a contract with the company it's that labor card that makes you that gives you contract between you the company and labor because labor is a gap between an employee and employer so that if there is any issue that comes up between the two parties the employee and employer the labor the law of labor can come to effect so with that labor being in the in, in the gap between you and your company it simply means you don't have a contract with the company and that is the reason why most people uh, that is on tourist visa uh, that maybe a company will use them and so so, so things I'm going to also talk about that I think I should also talk about that in this video you know you will come to a company uh, the company will promise you to do visa for you. They will be using you, you know. You should have a second plan. Now, I will tell you cut, uh, uh, clear that working on tourist visa is illegal. Unless you have a proof which state that the company is ready to do your new visa. For example, offer letter. If you are working on a on, on a tourists with another company without an offer letter proof that they are already uh, processing your 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 visa do you understand you might get into trouble do you understand you might get into trouble so avoid that so coming back to what i was discussing this country is not a country that people are made like you are made you you have come you have arrived to the extent that nothing can happen to you again it doesn't happen like that you might be working in today you might, today you might be working in a company that is paying you more than five thousand five five thousand and above but tomorrow you might find yourself in a situation whereby you are even looking for a job of one thousand one thousand five that is how life in uae is nobody is made that is why you need to you need to invest in yourself this is it invest in yourself i know people that have been in this country for more than many years but they are still in one position tell me if that company by mistake crashed or maybe the the terminate you or something like that where will you start from it's very important to realize that building your career in this country is not a waste of money. Most of you think about maybe doing courses, you know, spending money, build, doing courses is a waste of money. It's not a waste of money. You are investing on yourself, in yourself. Do you understand? Tell me, how do you invest in yourself? Now, you came to a country for the first time use your one year to observe the situation how things are done and after your one year then you start looking for the courses that you should 
apply on that you should start doing most people do driver license most people do uh uh barista training there's a uh, a lot of job you know uh security courses you know uh what they call it um a nursing assistant you know there's a lot of courses that you can do which which, which requires money but a lot of us, the reason why we are not trying to do those courses is because we do exchange. We, we use the exchange, we change the money into our currency and we realize that, oh bro, this money is too big. This money is enough for you to buy land or for you to start building a house or something like that. And you think that that is just it. Do you understand? Investing in yourself does not, is not, is not a waste of money. Most of you think about it like it's a waste of money. That's why you don't you don't invest in yourself in this country. You feel like doing ordinary labor, uh, skillless job, like the job that don't need skills. You washing plates, you are cleaner, you are doing this, you are doing this. No skills at all. You feel like because they are paying you Wi-Fi, you are okay with it. Do you understand? And once something happened, you know that you need you you need a skill to protect yourself. Now you cannot. Do you understand? Then you will start blaming uh, everybody that comes to social media. You know, you think that you think that uh, uh, we are your problem, bro. You are your problem. If you start from the beginning, start building yourself. If you have spent three years in this country and you have not focused on something that you want, you have not, you have not uh, used your eye to create a career that you need. It simply means that you are uh, you are visionless. You should go back home. Now, let me tell you guys the advantage. Okay, let me tell you guys the advantage of investing in yourself in another person in another man's land. Let me tell you guys the advantage of investing in yourself. For example, you are sending money back home in your account steady every month do you know that there is just one single problem that will bust out and eat all those money do you understand and if you have invested that money then waiting for the return there is no problem that will come that will not sort itself out for example, they called you. Do you know that? Do you know that our people back home, if they want to call you to get money from you, a single problem, a small issue that will be resolved without contacting you, they will make it look like it is a matter of life and death, which will make you to easily release money. And trust me. If you don't have that money at that particular time, maybe you have invested it on something or you have used it to do one course or the other. Now, if they see that the money is not forthcoming from you, they will look for another alternative. If it's to borrow, they will borrow to sort that particular problem out because they have seen that you don't really have it. But if you have it, then it is a must that you must spend that money. Do you understand? But if they borrow the money, it simply means that maybe before the, the deadline of them borrowing that money, you must have gotten an income from what you invested in. So my message is this. Learn how to invest in yourself in this country. If you did not, if you cannot invest in yourself, that means there is no need for you being in this country because you will remain the same. The best thing for you is to start now and invest in yourself. Very, very important. You can invest by doing safety course, uh, nursing assistant, uh, what they call it, uh, body start training, a lot of driving license. You can invest in all those things. It will eat you a lot of money, but trust me, from one year two years of it after two years of it you will start to benefit from it do not expect the fruit do not expect that you if you if you make 
like if you make a driving license today you start having big salary today no it takes you years many companies that pays drivers well pay by experience if have you have your have your driving license more uh, have you do you have use your driving license more than two years in this country do you understand those are the uh even if you have safety course you cannot start ending well with your safety course immediately you you need years you need like one or two years do you understand so my message is very clear invest in yourself so that in the nearest future when a problem like this come up you will have another alternative to defend yourself me like this now i can defend myself so many ways i'm a forklift operator professional merchandiser salesman with a very good communication skills to attract customer driver with the knowledge of every location in abu dhabi when i mean every i have the gps of abu dhabi in my head now you understand that once this leg shake i have another leg to save myself that is exactly what you should do all these things that i said now cost me many years and a lot of money do you understand but trust me i am gaining it now so i would like you to try the same invest in yourself do not just stay in one lane create different ways so that if one is not working another one will pick up if one is not working another one will pick up so my message is this invest in yourself then at the nearest future things like this that happened to nigerians in this country will not affect you i was affected because when i could not when i realized that i could not renew my visa at that particular time that i was out when I, I was a merchandiser in one in one company but i have another alternative because i have built myself to that level try to build yourself and stop sending money back home you can send money back home but there's a time for everything and to everything there's a season i also wanted to talk about those people that come to uae and start living expensive life that they cannot afford in real life if you see them on tiktok they will be, you will think that they have one big company or like that but if you see them on real life they are they don't have one dirham you will you are receiving 1000 dirham salary you you will use 500 to 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 to, to even you, you will spend more you will spend more than that you receiving 1000 dirham 1500 as your salary you will lodge in a hotel you will carry in one month you will you will spend maybe more not less than 500 on women you will go to mall you buy expensive clothes so that you if you wear it and take picture and post it online everybody will think that you have arrived those those i know of, i know i, I even know much most people physical i know them but i cannot mention their name because it's not a, it's not my business that they are they're living such life but i still want to use that particular life to encourage you that is watching me you see I don't want to talk much ladies and gentlemen my name is chris amilo and in my next video i think i'll be addressing that particular fake life issue that is holding back most of us in this country you know a lot of them right now they don't even know how to come out of it because they have introduced it you know and it's now part of them so ladies and gentlemen my name is chris amilo and here is where we discuss everything that has to do with dubai united arab Emirates, with the jobs and the employment we are based on positivity only teaching people on how things are done in to get it right in the united arab Emirates. subscribe if you are new in my channel if you're not new in my channel don't forget to like this video peace of god bless you